Hey, thanks for checking out Nuts and Bolts with Tone, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about what happens when you're putting in a bolt, and that bolt goes from righty-tighty to lefty-loosey while you're tightening it. Yes, the unfortunate when the bolt strips. So when a bolt strips, you have uh, several options, but one is you have to repair the threads. And the several options means that there's multiple ways of fixing the threads. The best way to fix the thread is a time cert. That is the best way to make a permanent repair. But an easy way to make a repair, and I've done this in many, many, I've done it for exhaust manifolds, I've done it for a lot of things, is to put in a helicoil. So in this case, I have a six liter and the EGR valve uh, bolts in the intake manifold are stripped and they are not sealing the EGR valve. And so I need to helicoil the hole and um, and fix the thread so I can fasten this EGR valve down properly. So I'm going to show you how to successfully perform a helicoil repair. Before I do that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell to get notified of all my future content, which you're definitely going to want to see. Let's check it out. All right, so here we go. This video is going to be how to install a helicoil. So I've got this six liter uh, power stroke here and uh, this bolt was holding, but not that great. Uh, this bolt was stripped out. It was like longer bolts with washers and, uh, and it had a boost leak. So all this was black all around here from the EGR valve leaking. I could see the EGR valve sticking up about that far. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and install a helicoil. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first and foremost, whenever you're gonna be doing a helicoil, you wanna make sure that you cover everything. So I've got an intake port here. So I've got a cup in here. I don't have one for the EGR, it's too small. It doesn't fit in there snug, so I just have a rag. And you wanna make sure you cover everything. I've got the turbo covered here. I've got the PCB uh, a hole covered here to make sure that little metal does not go anywhere. Um, no engine is good for uh, metal, but especially a diesel. So we're gonna be recoiling on both of these holes, and let me show you how to do that. All right. So your helicoil kit is gonna look something like this. You're gonna get it, it's gonna say helicoil. In this case, it's a six by one. That's what I'm doing, six by one. Here's my bolt. All right. So you're gonna have your tap, you're gonna have your installer, and you're gonna have a whole bunch of helicoils. All right, this is what they look like. I'll show you how, how to do that, but that's what it looks like right there. Okay, we're gonna be installing that. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need uh, the drill bit. So on a Healy coil, hang on one second, let me set the phone down. All right, so every time you have a tap like this, a tap at all, it will tell you what size it is. You're not gonna be able to see it on here, but this one is a quarter inch. So it wants a quarter inch hole for this, this tap. So we're gonna drill a quarter inch hole. Now what you're gonna need for this job is you're gonna need a tap socket. So I have this set of Lyle tap sockets here and it's a square drive inside. Can't see it, but put this on. Well, I can't do it one-handed. Okay, there we go, it's snug. So now that's in. All right, and now the other tricky part is the installer. So you got this little square drive at the top here and it's real small. So what I found that works is an E7 Torx. Got my carbine tools, E7 Torx here, all right? So that's gonna go on top. I'll show you how to do that when we get to it. Now, what you're gonna wanna do before you do a helicoil you need to figure out how deep you can go. So what I did was I took a pocket screwdriver. Let me turn my, I got my light on. Took a pocket screwdriver and I put my finger at the intake. And so that's how far I can go. Gotta do it over. All right, so you're gonna take something, stick it in the hole, you're gonna mark it somehow, all right? You're gonna bring it out and you're gonna mark it to your drill bit. All right, so I've put a paint mark around it. All right, the helicoil is smaller than this. 
So I'm okay, I just need to not go past the paint, all right? So we're gonna be drilling both of these holes out that size. So I've got my, my Mac Tools drill and my quarter inch Mac Tools drill bit. All right, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to be real careful. All right, I'm gonna drill these holes and then I'll show you what the next step is. I don't wanna drill through this intake. Now this is why you wanted to block everything off because look at all this metal, all right? So now I've drilled both holes down to the paint mark. The next step is going to be the tap socket. Set the phone down for one second. All right, so now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna tap this. You wanna make sure that you go as straight as possible you also need to mark your tap so you know how deep to go. Now, if you walk your tap around while you're sitting here tapping it, then your threads will not cut correctly. What we're doing is we're cutting threads in this aluminum intake manifold. And the helicoil is going to thread into these threads on the outside. And then on the inside, we will have a 6 by one point zero bolt hole to put the EGR bolts in. You want to make just apply a little bit of pressure. I like to use a hand ratchet like this where I can use my hand because I, if you do have too much leverage, then you can uh, actually do some damage. You can thread it wrong. You can thread it crooked. If you do that, you're in trouble. So the only thing I didn't do is I did not mark my tap. So I'm gonna kind of go down until I feel it get a little snug. All right, I think we're good. I'm gonna come back to this in just a second. All right, so you're not gonna be able to see it very good, but I got the threads cut all the way down this hole. Now the next thing that we're gonna do, I still have to tap that one but we're gonna go ahead and vacuum up all these metal shavings and blow these holes out to make sure there's no metal in the holes because we're gonna be installing the helicoil. All right, let me get this other hole done. All right, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna take your tool. I've already got the helicoil in the tool. I, 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 was, just put, I was just messing around and I accidentally installed it. So your helicoil is open on one end and it has a tang on the other. So the tang is gonna go at the bottom and it's gonna bottom out on the bolt. So you're gonna take your bolt and you're gonna thread it onto your helicoil, okay? It's gonna go on really, really easy because it's not the right thread pitch, okay? Well, I think it is the right thread pitch, but it doesn't matter. So then you're gonna put it through the tool like this and you're gonna to get to here and you're gonna thread the helicoil into the tool. Then once you have it where it's at the end like that, we're gonna go over to the car and we're gonna apply pressure with this. And we're gonna turn this screw. We're gonna turn this screw and that is gonna drive, that's gonna uh, thread the helicoil down into the hole. You just have to make sure that you keep it, you get it flush at the top. And then I'll, once, I get the, once I get it installed, I'll show you. I can't, I can't that's a two-handed thing and I can't film. So let me get that in and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so. Since your helicoil is threaded into the plastic piece, you will feel when the helicoil is done because it will, the plastic piece will be loose. You just have to keep, you have to keep pressure on the plastic piece because it's gonna wanna turn in the, in the direction you're going. And then once you're all done, you have your helicoil in, you just wanna take your finger and run it across and make sure it's smooth and it's flush. All right, so now you can see, I have some beautiful threads in there and this helicoil is installed. So now, let me helicoil that side, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do after that. All right, hopefully this works. I'm gonna try this and see if I can show you how to do it. So you're gonna start to thread it down, 
and you just gotta feel it where the hole is. You'll feel it start to go. Now this part right here is wanting to twist, so I'm having to keep opposite pressure on it. So now we're gonna go. And you'll feel it when the plastic piece gets loose, then you'll know your helicoil is all the way installed. All right, we're getting there. And I didn't show you this, but I told you, make sure you take an air nozzle and you blow out all the, all the metal shavings Okay, so now so now I'm gonna see if I have this in all the way. Okay, so I can still feel it sticking up. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this bolt and I'm gonna thread it in. And then I'm going to thread the helicoil until it's flush. Pretty sure I just got it. Make sure you run your finger across. Okay, so I'm perfect here. I feel nothing when I come across. And so now what I'm going to do is now I'm going to, I'm going to actually torque these bolts because I don't want the helicoil to pull back out. So, and the last thing we need to do, let me go figure out what size punch and I'll show you. All right, so the next step is going to be we need to knock this tang out, okay? The little tang right there that's there, right there. So I found a punch that slides inside the helicoil, all right? And so now I'm just going to take the punch, and I'm just going to hit it down. One quick hit. There we go. And now the helicoil is set. And we are good to go. And now I just need to clean my uh, ceiling surface so I can install this EGR valve. So now that I've showed you how to perform a helicoil repair, I hope that you feel comfortable doing this repair without any error. Uh, the, the key is just making sure that you get the helicoil in properly, making sure that hole is cleared out before you uh, before you uh, install the helicoil, make sure you get an air nozzle and blow it out. Uh, maybe even take some brake clean and blow it out. <clears throat> uh, some people like to put uh, Loctite on the outside of the helicoil. Uh, helicoil is not going anywhere once you put it in. Uh, the key, uh, the other key is just making sure, like I showed you in the video, making sure it's flush. <clears throat> if it drops down just a tiny bit, you're still okay. Uh, you just don't want it to go down too far. So, thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell. You get notified of all my future content, which you're definitely going to want to see. Also, check me out on Instagram at Nuts and Bolts with Tone for my daily life as a mechanic. Show you all kinds of cool stuff. Show you some of this stuff that I'm doing in the videos. Uh, show you tools before I make a review about them, or sometimes I only show them on Instagram. So, check out my merchandise store. Get yourself a coffee cup, t-shirt. Support Nuts and Bolts with Tone's channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.